see it, how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Bengals lined up in the nickel. First down at the 20. Bells taking the handoff. Here we have second down. When you see linebackers moving like this, you're trying to confuse the offensive line. Wheaton has hold of it. Don't get brought down with hard tackles. That's what you teach everybody that carries a football in this league now. The wide receiver, excellent job of breaking that arm tackle, getting the extra yards. Inside the 50. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Roethlisberger is going back to the air on this play. No one's going to get him now. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. And the early momentum in their favor as that touchdown puts them in front here in the first. Oh, I love that word, momentum. The big bow, and big bow is on their side. That is a great thing to have and a good feeling as a football team. The Steelers now will tack on the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Gonna test the coverage here. And the tackles made right around the 25 yard line. Take him down. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. that time he reads the blocks very well and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down that's that's nice Hill 
takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 47. They deck him in the backfield. The Bengals running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play, what happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Second down and 12. Hills called on once again. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't bump the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. Wants to go deep. Mitchell nearly coming away with an interception. One of the most dynamic players in the National Football League is wide receiver A.J. Green. Jim, you're right. He is dynamic. One of the best in the NFL. Tall, fast, and can make every catch. A.J. Green is one of the best. Second down here. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. He'll throw it over the middle. On target with Tyler Eifert. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down at the 22. Hill's going to receive the toss. Steelers defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop the runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Second down and 11. Bernard off the left side. Mitchell's the one who brings him to the ground. Giovanni Bernard is one of the biggest dual threats out of the backfield we have in the league now. Giovanni Bernard. What a name. It's a great name, and he's a heck of a player. Catches the football well, and that time he showed everybody he knows how to run big time in this, in this league. Ready to snap the football at the 13. Just a quick drop back. Two hands on the football and has the catch. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Breaking huddle at the five. Now the defensive line is shifting to the right. First and goal from the five. Thomas is in on the tackle. Let's talk about the defense. A former first rounder out of Florida State linebacker, Lawrence Timmons. Yeah, he's a linebacker. That's what it says. But what you really need him for is to get to the quarterback from the inside or the outside. Timmons has that kind of talent. Second and goal at the two. He'll get it again. Over the line. Touchdown. And that touchdown, Phil, here late in the first, ties the game. Yeah, it ties it up, and it gets them out of a little hole, and, of course, it gives the offense a lot of 
a lot of confidence. And on the defensive side, they have struggled early, but maybe they can start to pick things up. The Steelers set to return the kick. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Steelers getting set to take over again on offense. They'll be trying to pick it up right where they left off with their last drive that ended in a touchdown. Yeah, to throw the football well. And I'll tell you, I've been covering this game a long time. There's still nothing pretty than seeing a quarterback drop back and throw a perfect spiral down the field and watching guys catch it. It's That was a work of art, the last drive. Roethlisberger's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. First down at the 20. They'll run it here. Ends up picking up three yards. For the offense at running back, a gifted glider is Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, he can glide and he can also run over you. You know, he did it at Michigan State and he has proven in the NFL he can be big, strong, and tough. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. up about five. One player who can wreak havoc on that defense is Carlos Dunlap. Looks like an NBA power forward, tall, long arm, so he can reach around defenders and grab the quarterback. If you can double team him, you better do it. Offense needs two yards here on third down after that pass play. The Bengals packing the box here. 46 formation. They need to get the playoff. Bell's hand at the football. Brought down at the 32. Bell's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short. He just gets it done with sheer willpower. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Phil, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter. It sure was, and it was a tug of war, and it was boring. That's what it looked like. I, I, I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, but really the offenses just... Poor play selection, poor execution, and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looks like they're in press coverage here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a gain of maybe five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down here after that run play. The Steelers come out in a bunch set. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. Vincent Ray takes down the quarterback. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. Press coverage all the way. Drop back. Shotgun formation. Almost intercepted. One quarter in the books, and the defense continues to shine. Yeah, awesome first quarter for both defenses. I like what they're doing on, that, on their sides. They're taking some chances. Both coordinators had good game plans, and we can see they're working so far in this game. Jones has got it at the 29. They'll mark him at the 34. And a run back of about five. 
the Bengals now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone, and so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. The Bengals will come to the line. Second quarter, tie game, scores 7-7. Seven to seven. The Bengals all bunched up here as they get set at the line. The Bengals have it at the 34. Toss play to Bernard. Ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. A foot race to the end zone. Touchdown! What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long? Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. The Steelers didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Hans. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but yeah, that was pretty easy. Jones is going to start his return. Shazier's there to take it down. That return's good for about 16. The Bengals offense comes back onto the field, looking to make up for the way their previous drive came to an end when they fumbled the football away. Yeah, they got to find a way to get going again. It's a good play call that always helps. But look, I'm going to give the defense credit on that last turnover. They took it away. That's why the offense fumbled. What do you think makes that coach on the sideline, though, more upset? Seeing his team throw an interception or fumble the football away. Fumbling is the worst turnover of all in the NFL. There's no question it's the fumble. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second down coming up. Hey, 380. 380. Dalton will take it from the gun. Mohamed Sanu is the receiver. Good yardage picked up on that call. That's his first reception today. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field and show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. The Steelers' defense now is going to go Good nickel. Kick. Tight Good ends kick. in motion here. First down at the 32. Hills tackled down after a gain of five. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Dalton's got it in the gun. Dalton over to Eifert. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. First down here. From the shotgun. Jones got it. And a first. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone. Or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. 
that time we see a nice route by the receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. First down here. Hill's going to take the handoff now. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The defense stops the clock. At the line of scrimmage, the 34. The Bengals have it at the 34. Still on his feet. Nothing like a running back who fights for every extra yard. When you get that extra yard or two, what it does, it just creates better situations for your offense. play was a run third down coming up Dalton will be taking the snap out of the pistol flag is out the defense a little jumpy right there Breaking huddle at the 23-yard line. Hill in the backfield. Single back set. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. First and ten. Hill's got it again. Tewitz able to read that play and make the hit. Look at the signals. The D-line is all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Three-step drop. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. Well, I think it's important for the defense, anytime it's a third long situation for the offense, to know where those first down markers are. Give a little ground and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside and be back in just a moment. to connect their third down. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. The Bengals will take the snap from the 25. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. No doubt about it. 
put three on the board. Phil, how about the kick here before the intermission? What does that do for this team? Well, Jim, I think it puts them in a good frame of mind. It was a good drive by the offense, so that's got to give them confidence. And anytime you're close going into halftime, you got to be you got to be happy about that. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Steelers heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. First down at the 20. Bell is going to secure the handoff. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. The Steelers lead here in the first half, but the run game has been stagnant. Bell's been unable to shake free at any point. No, he has not been able to shake free. And listen, sometimes you just can't worry about it. you got to do whatever it takes to win. If you can't run it, then just keep throwing the football. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Second down. Roth was Burgers all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and nine. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Trying to score some points at the end of the first half. The best way to do it when the time is against you. Get in that hurry-up offense. Make the defense. Sit back. Be real careful about what they're doing. Maybe you can get some quick yards and get a chance for some points before halftime rolls around. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. First down, offense readying for the snap. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Le'Veon Bell has the catch. That's a gain of eight. Good job that time by the ball carrier, picking up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Coming up. The Bengals with a nickel look here on defense. Roethlisberger is going to take it from the gun. Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end, Heath Miller. That's a pickup of 14. The Steelers are up right now. And credit goes to the quarterback here, partner. Roethlisberger's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. 
They come to the line and it's first down. Out of the shotgun formation. Roethlisberger finds Miller. Gains 11. Third catch today so far. The best way to get more plays in before the end of the first half, go to the hurry-up offense. Nice job by the coach. We'll see if the quarterback can make it work. We'll go no huddle. He'll take the snap from the gun. And this is dropped. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. That leads us to second down. say this for the defensive side that's losing it's been terrible so go in there at halftime change what you're doing and get back in this game an extra point is good the Steelers now getting ready to kick it away Tate with the fair catch signal here as he won't return this one. The Bengals put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just the field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First down at the 20. Takes the hit, throws. inside of two minutes to get out of bounds, you do it. A good first half of action. Soon we'll be sending you to Orlando and to our host, Larry Ridley. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. With this kick, the second half is underway. It's Tate on the return. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Bengals talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right down to get this offense going. Second 
second and ten coming up. Dalton lined up two tight end set. Gabe Yearly comes up with the pick on that pass. Tough situation you found yourself in. Third and long, you're losing the football game. There are not many plays here that are going to pick up the first down. So be careful here. Don't be too aggressive. If you're too aggressive, you will make a mistake. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Empty backfield look for Dalton here. From the gun. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Well, don't look at the scoreboards, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. Dalton's completion percentage, 60% on the day. After the long game, let's see what they do here. They send the tight end in motion. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the left. I think they're expecting a run. Hills tackled down at the 50. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Second and five coming up. The Steelers load up the box, going with the 46 defense. Tyler Eifert has the grab. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's his sixth catch of the day. The football sits at the 42-yard line. Hills in the backfield. Single back set. First down and 10. Now makes the move to the right. Hills tackled down at the 39. The Bengals have tried a couple of different ways to get the running game going, but it hasn't paid off. Hills been stopped from the first quarter. Running game has no chance. That's obvious. We've seen it here today. And it's time for this offense to open it up with trying to run the football and throw it down the field. Advancing it now inside the 40. Second down and seven. Throws the pass. And it's a hookup with Marvin Jones. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. First down coming up. The Steelers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Dalton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And Gay's going to make the tackle. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Dalton's now completed four in a row. Just 23 yards to the end zone. Second and six. He's hit as he throws it. is third down. Three, Dalton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking across the middle, A.J. Green with the catch. 
Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. The reception. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. How important was that score, Phil? Facing a big deficit and suddenly scoring a touchdown, and things look a whole lot different. Well, it was great. It was great. What a what a job to find a way to score that touchdown. And now the coach has got to look at the scoreboard and start thinking of a different strategy since this game has gotten close. Boy, they saw something on the offense. It caught their attention. Look at the defensive line. They're all shifting to the right. They will not find a way into the end zone. So they'll only get six points out of the trip. It'll be a touchback. The Steelers preparing to get things going again on offense. They took it all the way on their previous possession, mostly getting it done through the air. Yeah, they got the leader, don't they? That quarterback, he takes control of the situation when he goes out on the field. And I know that defense, they had great respect for him. Now they fear him. That's a tough spot to be in on the defensive side. First down at the 20. They go screen with Bell. Pass the first down and a whole lot more. They are in on Bell. That's a nice play that time by the offense getting the first down. They're up here in the second half and they're moving the football. That's a great feeling. Rest at the 44. First down here after the completion. The give. That's a game of six. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? The football is at the 38. Second down and four. Roethlisberger with the give. way third down the Steelers at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation Roethlisberger from the gun intercepted he's in the clear the 30 the 20 the 10 all the way home and all alone touchdown you got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. The Bengals offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. Hill's got it. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And a flag comes out.
the Bengals lined up in the nickel. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. First down at the 40. Vance Spate has the reception. He's tackled right at the 48. The Steelers still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Roethlisberger's tried to keep his team in it any way he can. Well, a couple things, Jim. You can't blame the quarterback because of trail, and he has been outstanding here today. The offense, the offensive line, the play calling, all good. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Fox running down. Bells handed the football. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Steelers, good job that time. Moving to change, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. D-line is shifting inside. They're pinching. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. Bell's going to take the handoff now. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play? scrimmage the 41 Roethlisberger set empty backfield the quarterback he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals here is the first snap of the final quarter that's reception number four for him the Steelers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Tackle made by Ray that time. Coming up, second down. Easy, easy. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. He'll throw it over the middle. Steelers in for the touchdown. Early in the fourth quarter, that touchdown gives them the lead as they have established right now the upper hand, Phil. How big was it? Uh, there's nothing like having the upper hand on a, the other football team, is it, Jim? And it just it makes you feel good. It puts your mind at ease. And you've heard me say it many times. A relaxed athlete is the best athlete. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. touchback the Bengals offense taking the field again they got everything they could out of that last possession Phil that was a solid touchdown drive yeah, just look at them Jim the way they've run on the field you can see they're exuding confidence and when you got a confident football team man let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again First down at the 20. 
Hills taking the handoff. Shazier's there to make the tackle. Defense wasn't fooled by that play call. The defense, even though their team is leading, they were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense that time just for a couple yards. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Defensive line shifted to the right there. Dalton's back in shotgun formation. That's Dalton finding A.J. Green. The Bengals did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Dalton's completion percentage, 70% on the day. It's first down as they head to the line. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Andy Dalton backing off the line, dropping back into the shotgun formation. Dalton over to Eifert. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Dalton's now completed four in a row. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Dalton, handoff. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Jim, that's a nice job by the offensive coordinator there, being patient here in the fourth quarter. He's not down that much, so he's sticking with the run game and gets a short run that time. After running it, it's second down. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Second down and seven. They'll run it with him again. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Bengals just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. The football sits at the 34. First and 10. Jeremy Hill has the catch. down now the quarterback's picked up on something he's changing the play here Sanu makes the grab tackles made and the first down is picked up the Bengals good job that time moving the chains picking up that first down and Jim of course there's no time to panic in a situation like this I think they know that it's in the second half. You've got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Dalton's completed his last six passes. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 20. They'll go ground. And that's good for only a yard or two. That was a good idea that time by the offensive coordinator. Trying to go with the run game here in the fourth quarter when they're only down one score. Defense was ready and stops it for a short game. This will be the eighth play of this drive. These guys need to make something happen on offense. The time beginning to run out. And it's knocked down. All right, it's a nice play that time by the defense. 
The offense is inside your red zone. You got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. to the line at the 18. Time is running out. The defense knows he's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. That just may be the touchdown that seals the deal for them in this game. It put them in a wonderful position, no doubt about it. But, you know, Jim, the thing about the NFL today, there are so many unbelievable offensive players, you can never rest on the defensive side. It's good. The Steelers set to return the kick. And here's Todd Boone. It's out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Steelers have been in a fight today. The scores 31 to 28. First down at the 24. Handoff out of the eye formation. Bell's met at the 30. He's averaging about three yards to carry on the day. Second down coming up. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Defense lining up here late in this one, trying to hold on to the lead. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing... He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Managing that clock, such a big deal in the NFL. That's why they're hurrying up. Don't use that timeout. Keep those timeouts because that is going to maybe give you a chance to win the game. Now first and ten. It's on target to Martavis Bryant. The Steelers have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. And intercepted! Roethlisberger is going to take a lot of heat for throwing that pick. So much was riding on that drive. The game was hanging in the balance, and he turns it over. I can't blame the quarterback in a situation like this. I'm blaming the coaches. The call was bad, and that's why the interception happened. Not where you want to begin a series. Backed up this deep. Dalton will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction.
Second down after the incompletion. Here's the handoff out of the strong line. Great call here by the coach in this situation. Keep running the football. Keep that clock moving. You have the lead. Just tell your quarterback and tell everybody on offense this. Hold on to the football and don't have a penalty where you can stop that clock. It'll be third down. It's Bernard in the backfield. Intercepted! Touchdown in the late stages. Well, you're behind in the game. You're figuring, how are we going to get this done to get ahead? And look what happens. Your defense gets the turnover, takes it back for a touchdown. My gosh, that will... If that doesn't spur the team on to, to the victory, I don't know what team. The Steelers now ready to kick the football down the field. Jones got it. the 18-yard line. The Bengals' offense takes the field, and they are absolutely in desperate need of a big-time drive here to put points on the board. The one thing we do know, since you are behind, the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls. So make sure you have play calls to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side. First down, pressure on every snap now. First down at the 18. And there's a drop. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The Bengals coming to the line. Still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. Dalton's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. From the gun, Dalton. Dalton over to Eifert. It's late in the fourth quarter. you got a close game. What a play call that time by the offensive coordinator. And a nice throw by the quarterback, and they pick up a big first down. First down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Here's the first snap after the big play. First and ten. Sanu with the catch. This is why teams are always practicing the two-minute offense for situations just like this. You have the football under two minutes to go. You're losing. You pick up some good yards, and your player is smart enough to get out of bounds and stop the clock. First down. Pressure on every snap now. First down, following the long play. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. 
Now look at all these great tight ends in the NFL now. Makes me think of the NBA. These are power forwards who said to heck with that. They want to be pass catchers, and they're good at it. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Well, that's a good job of the linebackers moving around. They're trying to confuse the offensive line. First down and 10. Pass is intercepted. Dalton's has got to be hanging his head after that series. Here he was attempting the last gasp heroics, trying to take him down to win the game. Instead, he throws the interception. Sometimes as a quarterback, you cannot be afraid to fail. And that's how he acted on the field that time. He was aggressive in his decisions. He was trying to win the game, and it just didn't work out. Takes the knee. Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition, you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.